Good morning. You listen to FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guests down in the Grand Cayman Islands at the NFA meeting are Jeff Hunkinen and Steve Griffith, both with Invista. Jeff, I believe you're sales director of the residential business, and Steve, you're chief marketing officer. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, Kemp. All right, so one of the reasons I want to talk to you, and I know it's the end of a long, exhaustive day because we've just done this speed dating, but I wanted to catch up with you about this Essentials Stain Master introduction that we ran on Floor Daily last week and talk to you guys a little bit about what you're doing there. This is a polyester product. Most people know Stain Master has stood for Nylon 6-6 forever. Steve, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about the strategy behind this decision. Well, this work, Kemp, started over a year and a half ago as we began to do a little bit better job of trying to understand the segmentation of consumers. And we found that you can bucket consumers into six different buckets, and two of those buckets are very value-oriented. They represent over 30% of the market. And as we have looked at our product line and looked at what our price position is, especially with raw material prices doing what they've done over the last five years, we found that we had a gap in our entry-level product. And looking at uh, how to fill that product position, that price point position, looking at what we could achieve in terms of a performance standpoint with polyester gave us an opportunity to upgrade and improve our entry-level product. And so our strategy is to provide an alternative entry-level position for Stain Master, which, as you know, for, for a lot of people, is a critical price point in terms of advertising and how they start the process with consumers. So this new category, Stain Master Essentials, allows us to fill that with a broader group of products at different price points that allows people to compete effectively with our brand. Okay, so does this mean that you've kind of changed your whole mindset and position around the relative performance of 6.6 versus polyester? Well, let me answer that first, and then I'm going to let Jeff uh, pile on to that. The Stain Master brand stands for performance. You mentioned it in the introduction. We have no intentions or any desire to change that position. The Stain Master brand stands for carpet that's durable and easy to clean. And so as we looked at products that fit into this entry-level category, we had to be sure that those products met that specification. So Jeff's team and our product development team did all the test and development work on this, and I'll let him comment on how we did that. Kemp, to Steve's point, we still believe that nylon is the best product. It has the best balance of properties for a carpet. It's the most durable. It has the, the most flexibility in styling. Stain and soil performance is excellent, and newness retention is excellent with, with nylon. So this does not change our opinion on nylon versus other fiber systems. What we do find is that we have a better best-selling system, as Steve mentioned, and because of the raw material pricing on nylon, we had vacated the good category. So the consumer that was entering the marketplace did not have a good selection of Stain Master products in the entry-level price point. Our new brand architecture starts with Essentials, then it goes to Deluxe, and then to Premier. All of those have stain and soil warranties, and then they allow the consumer to trade up on the durability level that they are looking for. So the most durable product we have is the Premier, which is all nylon 6.6. Deluxe is all nylon 6.6. That's our second level of durability. And our least durable product is the Essentials line. So we've got a product line that now gives the consumer and the retailer the opportunity to select their durability level as they trade up to the proper product for their needs. Yeah, most people know you guys, you were at one time DuPont, now you're part of Coke, and the company is well known mostly hires engineers and that well known for research in a marketplace doing a lot of consumer research you usually are very selective when you launch new products everybody knows you know true soft you pick certain mills and with essentials i'm assuming that's the case so uh, t- talk a little bit about who's going to be making this okay right now we're at the uh, like you said grand came of the nfa we've got product launches with two mills shaw industries is launching an essentials line of polyester with us as is phoenix And Phoenix has got six products that they're launching right now that will be out to retailers as we speak. And Shaw's launching five new products in the Essentials line also. Another question along those lines is since you are selective, you're also sometimes selective about who gets the product. Is this available throughout the market or just to to select people? No, it's a select group of dealers at this point. We have a network of hundreds of dealers, which we call our aligned distribution for Stain Master, which includes uh, Stain Master Flooring Centers, as an example, and it includes our showcase dealer network. So those folks have made a commitment to our brand. They sell a broad collection of products at all price points, and this product will fit nicely into their portfolio of products on the entry level. 
to make sure this product is you know true to what you say as far as being a performance product this product has to be made to certain specifications right can you can you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing to this product to make sure that it's uh will satisfy the consumer's expectations of being a stain master product absolutely as steve mentioned we do have a minimum expectation around performance, both in stain and soil and in durability. So we looked at over 100 to 150 products in the marketplace, trying to identify the products that were the best performing in the industry. We worked with our mill partners to set minimum weight specifications, minimum twist specifications, and minimum durability specifications, so that the consumer that buys a, an essential product will have a product that meets their expectations for performance from a stain master product. Okay. All right, so this one last thing before we run out of time. You, you guys have obviously have other news to talk about. Uh, we, we all saw TrueSoft. You rolled that out at Surfaces this year. I think the development of that was a little delayed this year, but it is out there, uh, out there in the marketplace now. Give us a quick update about what's going on with TrueSoft. We have over 30 products in the marketplace now with TrueSoft, primarily with Tough Tech, Shaw, and with Dixie. We've got a great selection of products. We've got tight textures. We've got smooth products. We've got Berber Flex. We've got um, patterns. We've got loops. So there's a great selection of products. The products are selling and the sales are increasing every day. And everybody that's involved with it has been very happy with the products. Again, late to market, but the products we have out there is a great collection. You know, there's two really big selling seasons. There's spring and fall. Do you think you got it out there in time in the fall for the fall selling season? We're right on the heels of fall. The products are in the stores. We, we sold a lot of rolls in anticipation of a lot of um, sales with our Stainmaster Flooring Center dealers, and most of them are selling the products now. And Solar Max is another product we saw launched at uh, Surfaces this year. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, that's, a, that's an interesting product. We designed that product to perform the, at the maximum level from a stain-resistant standpoint and also have fade resistance. So it's a solution dyed product. It uses a lot of the polymer technology that our commercial fibers do. It's very cleanable and resistant to a lot of strong cleaning solutions. It won't fade. It's got a luxury cross section, so it's very soft and performs with nylon 6.6. If you're looking for a product that you want to stand up to the tough conditions of an active family, that product will certainly do that. And most of the dealers that we've talked to here are very excited about it. A pretty large percentage of the NFA are already selling it to a large extent, and it's got great hand because it's Susan Set uh, fiber and nylon 6.6. It's relatively soft, and it's doing very well. All right, great, guys. Good to catch up with you. Again, we've been talking with Jeff Hunkinen and Steve Griffith with Invista, and you've been listening to Kempar and Floridelli.net.